Welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today's June the 9th, 2018. It's going to be a hot, blistering day. It's about 10.30 in the morning and it's already 80 degrees down here at the range. Um, we got one rifle to shoot today so that I can get this delivered to the customer. Now this is a fairly local customer. He'll drive down to the shop here and pick this gun up probably just as soon as I call him. And this is like the fifth or sixth rifle that I've built for him. And he keeps coming back for more. And we build him one just about every spring. And this year he picked something that's pretty much out of the ordinary. And what this is, is it's a 7 millimeter built on a 300 Norma Magnum. So that's a pretty big cartridge for a 7 millimeter bullet. And we'll go over to all that here in a minute, but I'm going to give you a rundown on the rifle real quick. And we'll start with the action. This is a Defiance action. This is their Deviant model. It's got a built-in Picatinny rail, 20 MOA, built right into it. Uh, the barrel is a Brooks barrel. It's a 1 and 8 twist, 7 millimeter. And out here on the end of this barrel, we've got one of my new muzzle brakes that I'm now manufacturing in the shop. And it's a self-timing, tactical-style muzzle brake. It's real easy to put on. You don't have to fight with trying to get it to time just right. And it works really, really good. There's a humongous amount of surface area built into this muzzle brake. So this, should, this gun should probably not even move in the bags. And if it moves, it won't be by much. We are shooting a heavy bullet, though. It's a 195-grain burger bullet. Uh, we'll go more about that here in a minute. The stock is a J. Allen stock, and to be honest with you, this is the first time I have built a rifle using this stock, and I kind of like it. I really kind of like it. It fits me good. It's got good soft grips on it. It's not going to be overly hot in the summertime or cold in the wintertime. This soft rubber grip area is just going to be a, a nice all-around gun stock, I believe. Adjustable cheek piece, adjustable butt pad. Seems to be a really nice stock, so we're going to shoot it today, see how it performs. Uh, let's go back to the barrel here again real quick. I didn't tell you, the contour on this is just a one and a quarter inch diameter barrel, straight. One and a quarter inch. It's a big, heavy bull barrel. This gun's going to be used for really long range, thousand yard stuff. He wanted to build it heavy, keep it sitting in the bags, and that's what we did. So. The scope on this gun, it's my scope, it's my slave scope, I call it, it's a Night Force NXS 8-32. to And um, I use it on a lot of guns when I'm test firing if the customer don't provide me with a scope or if they don't buy it complete with a scope on it. So I bore sighted it and it looked to be like it was pretty close so we should at least hit the paper. We got us a 100 yard target down there and we're going to do a little bit of target shooting but I want to show you these cartridges real quick. This is a 300 Norma Mag cartridge case that's been necked down to seven millimeter and it's been turned. The necks have been turned. The guy that I built this for loaded this ammo and sent them to me. I've got 12 rounds that we can play with today just to kind of get a feel for how the rifle's gonna shoot. And he told me, let's see, we've got 80 grains of Hodgkin's H1000 powder in here with a 195 grain bullet. And there's still plenty of room for more powder. I believe that that's a fairly mild load for this cartridge. Um, and over here you can see the bullets that we're gonna shoot them are pretty long. They're seven millimeter burger bullets. And they've got a BC of 755, I think. Pretty good BC on it. Yeah, 0.755. BC. He sent me the lid to the burger box. So these are the extreme, let's see, burger extreme outer limits elite hunter, 195 grain bullet. And I've got a box of bullets to play with. This one's a dummy round that don't have a primer in it. We got to make sure that all the rest of these are loaded and primed. He sent me one dummy round for setting the throat and then the rest of these should all be loaded. So we got 12 loaded rounds. Yep. That's the bullet. Pretty nice looking bullet. 
It's got a um, detachable magazine, so we're going to load this magazine up and shoot a few of these. Well, it don't look like we're going to use this magazine. Partridges are too big. I'm going to have to make a modification to the mag to get them to go down in there. I'll be darned. Okay, so we're going to be shooting these single shot today, one at a time, and we'll see how they do. I'm going to put this dummy round over here on the table so I don't pick it up, put it in the gun. Okay, guys, we took a little break there. We put the dogs in the truck, and I looked at this magazine a little bit more to try to figure out what was going on. And you can see this magazine right here has got an impression in the sheet metal to give it a little bit of strength. And that's what's keeping our cartridge from going down in there. This magazine was made for a 300 Winchester. And this 300 Norma is based off of 338 Lapua cartridge. So we're either going to have to modify this magazine or get a different magazine. I'm gonna to have to look into that. The customer sent this to me to use with this gun. It might have came with the stock, I don't know, but it is not gonna work for these 300 Norma cases, but I'm sure there's an easy fix out there for that. We're gonna go ahead and shoot one. I've got it bore sighted, and let's see where we hit at on our, on our target. I didn't tell you, but we've got a um, Trigger Tech trigger in this gun. And we hit about three inches low. Pretty good for a bore sight. I actually didn't change the scope of settings at all. I just put it on from the last gun that it came off of. And the gun didn't even move for a, a big fast shooting seven millimeter. The recoil on it was practically zero. Now, since we're so close to the bullseye. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot two more before I even move the scope.
Okay, the last two are in the same hole. The very first shot is just a little bit higher than the other two. So we're gonna just let this settle down a minute and we'll shoot another three shot group. Okay guys, we're back. Um, we're gonna shoot three more shots at 100 yards. See what kind of group we can get. I made a small scope adjustment to try to get us on the bullseye. So here goes three more. Okay guys, that's a, probably a quarter inch group or so down there, maybe three eighths. We'll have to go down and look at it here shortly. Yeah, probably three eighths. All three bullets are touching each other. But we're gonna take a break. We're gonna make a scope adjustment and we've got six rounds left and we're just gonna try to ring some steel down there at the 450 yard mark. Okay guys, we're ready to shoot it to 450 yards now. Um, the 100 yard target is done. I figured out the BC, did a little calculation with the telephone here, got my drops, and it called for six and a quarter minutes. That's at 3,000 feet per second. I have no idea how fast this bullet's going. I just kind of guessed it'd be around 3,000 feet per second, and we made the adjustments. We put the, the dope into the scope, whatever you want to call it, and now we're ready to shoot 450 yards. I'm gonna start out with a big round gong down there. I'm gonna shoot at the center of it. And that gives me a little bit of leeway to see exactly where the bullet's gonna hit. I'm not giving it any wind. Um, we're just gonna shoot for 450 yards. So here we go. and we hit a little bit higher than uh, I was aiming. So the BC, or the velocity, might be a little over 3,000 feet per second. Because it is a little bit high, but we definitely hit our mark. Um, I'm gonna come down just one click, and we're gonna shoot the small round target.
we hit that target and it's still a little bit high. So I believe I could come down one more click and that means we're down to five and a half minutes. Five and three quarter minutes. And we're gonna shoot one more shot. Let me look down there and see what I'm gonna shoot at. I think I'll shoot that deer target in the head. That'd be a fun little shot. Definitely decapitated that one. So we're going to take a little break and we'll shoot these other three shells. Okay, guys, we're back. We got three shots left for this gun and it is shooting amazingly good. Um, what we're going to do now is just have a little bit of fun. We've got three gongs down there and I'm going to shoot the big gong. Then I'm going to shoot the medium-sized gong, and then I'm going to shoot the smallest gong. And I'm going to do that as fast as I can. But remember, I'm loading one at a time, single shot. So I'm going to get mirror plugs in, and we're going to start shooting. There you go, fellas. That's uh, three shots, 450 yards. I didn't time myself, but I would say that was under 60 seconds, I think. I don't know. I would have to guess. And that's loading single shot and using my finger to push down on the magazine so I can close the bolt. Now, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this magazine so that these shells can load into it. I found the problem. It's from this little piece of stamped sheet metal in there they form that in there probably to give that magazine body a little bit of strength um, I'm gonna look into maybe getting a magazine for the 338 Lapua if it'll fit into this chassis on this gun stock if not I think I might just mill out this little piece of metal right here to make this work but whatever it is, we got to come up with a way of making it work. We can't send it back to Accuracy International and have them fix it. We're a custom gun builder here, so we're going to fix it ourselves in the shop. Probably have it done tonight before I quit. And um, I can call Todd. He can come down and pick up this gun. So we are going to go down and look at the 100-yard target. I want to show you that. And then we're going to call this video a wrap and head back to the shop because this is the only gun we have to shoot today and it's done so thanks Todd a thank you to Todd for supplying me with the ammunition to test fire it with and um, another thanks to Todd for letting me build him another gun because he really likes his guns and he picks out the best stuff he can build on we build on bats for him we've got him a stiller out there I think we did him a um, um, a boarding action once so he's got several nice actions and he loves to shoot long range so this thing right here i think is be his best long range shooter that he's got so we're going to take a break we're going to go down and check out the target and uh, we'll be right back with you here in just a second 
Okay guys, we're down here at the target, and as you can see, here's my first three shots. That was my very first shot out of the cold bore, clean. Then these two shots went right next to each other. I made a slight scope adjustment, and these were my next three shots. I can't measure that because I don't have anything to measure it with, but it's three-eighths of an inch or less at 100 yards. 195 grain burger bullets, don't know the velocity on them for sure. I'm guessing around 3,000 feet per second. And that's the first six shots out of the gun. The other six shots, we just had fun and, and rang steel with it. So I'll show you that again out here in the sunlight. This is a beautiful gun, I really like it. I might build one of them for myself one of these days if I ever get time. And uh, it's a beautiful rifle. You guys remember out there, if you need a rifle like this built to give me a call and I'll take care of you, you can always pay more for a rifle, but you cannot get a better built rifle. You can pay more, but you can't buy better. So remember that when you're in the market for your next rifle project, call Hankins Custom Rifles and we'll build you a rig just like this that'll shoot just like that. And you can have fun with it for a long, long time. So until the next time, guys, thanks for watching the videos. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see. Comment. Share them. And um, until the next time, we'll see you. Hey, guys, we made it back to the shop, and I want to throw this in here at the end of the video. When we were down at the range today, we had this 300 Winchester Magnum magazine. And that's what the customer sent with the stock and all the parts here. So apparently they either sent him the wrong one or he ordered the wrong one. But I happen to have a 338 Lapua magazine. And a nice thing about this J. Allen stock is it's got some adjustments down here for different magazines. So all I had to do was make a small adjustment here, small adjustment here because the catch is at a different spot. This magazine fits in the gun perfect just like it should and the shells this is the dummy shell without the primer in it the shells will go right in there so we didn't have to do any modifications to the original magazine he'll just have to send it back trade it in buy another one whatever he decides to do but the 338 Lapua magazine is the right one for this cartridge here the seven millimeter 300 norma mag if you guys ever decide or anybody out there wants to build one remember when they order the magazine to order a 338 lapua magazine for these cartridges that's really all i wanted to tell you guys i wanted to throw that in there so you knew what i had to do to get this thing to work it was real easy didn't have to do anything to this magazine just had to get the right one we'll see you next time fellas